Tonight might be the last game of the 2024 MLB season. We're here to break down Game 4 of the World Series, Los Angeles Dodgers at New York Yankees. We have another money-making spot on a player prop. I'm Steve Seagrave. I'm the featured handicapper today over at SportsMemo.com. My first 5% NBA play of the year is 50% off. Currently number one in the NBA, up 17 and a half units. If you guys enjoy this content, hit the like button, subscribe to the Wager Talk channel if you haven't already, and post your MLB Game 4 World Series picks in the comment section. This could be your last chance. So we cashed on our video yesterday. We had the under Clark Schmidt on strikeouts. Under 4.5, he landed on 3. It was a little dicey early on. Uh, when he had struck out three batters in the first couple of innings, but he ends up getting that quick hook, which is what you can really take advantage of in the postseason with these pitching prop unders. That was a client play. However, we did lose another one on uh, Walker Bueller under 14 and a half outs, died on the hook at 15. Uh, Yankees couldn't get anything going against them. But so we go into today, we got Dodgers at Yankees. Same thing as normal. First pitch, 8.08 p.m. Eastern on Fox. Yanks currently minus 135. Dodgers plus 114. Total sits at 8.5. Dodgers looking to sweep this series up 3-0 after yesterday's 4-2 victory. Freddie Freeman, man, he got the party started with another home run. He's homered in every game so far in this series. He's definitely set up for the MVP. Assuming that it's not a miracle comeback by the Yankees. Uh, Yanks couldn't score until the ninth inning where Verdugo hit a two-run bomb. It's going to be Luis Heel against that Dodgers bullpen. The Dodgers bullpen's been pretty solid. 3.16 ERA in the postseason. They did use six arms yesterday. Uh, however, they didn't use any of their long relievers. Um, we're going to see at least six arms tonight, that's for sure. Uh, but Dave Roberts, man, he just seems to know when to pull the strings on this bullpen. On the other side of things, Luis Heal, last time we saw him was in Cleveland against the Guardians. Pitched four full innings, two earned runs there. He's got a three and a half regular season ERA. I, I lean on the Yankees here to show some sort of pride and win a game in this series. But I don't think I can lay minus 135 on him. So we're going to go to a player prop. Again, going to look at Luis Heal under three and a half hits allowed. Get a good price on it at minus 105. So he only allowed three hits against Cleveland. It was one of his lower pitch counts of the year at 79. And I just see multiple paths to victory on this ticket. He could pitch well. It's a good chance of that. He's actually pitched pretty well against the Dodgers' current lineup. They only bat 240 against him with only one home run. Small sample size, only 25 at-bats. It's more about him just getting pulled if there's any sign of trouble. He does walk plenty of hitters as well, which could really factor into this play. He had three walks against Cleveland. He walked 77 hitters in a little over 150 innings during the regular season. So he walks his fair share of guys. If he walks, and then Otani, it looks like he's ready to take a walk if... if possible with this with the shoulder situation Dodgers are a patient lineup they walked six times last night and I just think he's going to get the quick hook if there's any sort of sign of trouble so Dodgers you know walk he walks a couple of guys then maybe allows a hit or two and this could be the spot where he gets pulled after only a couple of innings so under three and a half hits seems like a good spot here where we could cash it multiple ways so that'll be our official play for the video, guys, like I said, I'm the featured handicapper today over at sportsmemo.com. My first 5% NBA play of the year is 50% off. Number one in the NBA so far, we've pulled a profit in six of the first seven days, and we're up 17 and a half units. We've carried over that momentum of last year's postseason. We were number one, 34 units uh, pulled in during the postseason. And it is the last few days where you can get that NBA season pass, uh, the last day is Thursday on that. $499. That is $246 off the normal price. So I'd encourage you guys to check that out. It's a great long-term way to get all my NBA plays right through the finals. And you get those plays right when I release them. 
So good luck tonight, guys. As always, there's a link to my plays in the pinned comment. Always have free plays at Sports Memo and at X at Steve's Book 22. If you guys could follow me over at, at Twitter, that would be great. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button on the way out. Let's cash that ticket on heel under three and a half hits allowed. Good luck, and maybe I'll see you for game five.